Welcome to Linux Kida and in this video we will set up a dual boot for Kali Linux and Windows operating system. So first download the Kali Linux image from the official website. Just click the first link. Now download the version 2020.2. It is size is about 3.4 GB. Just download the image and afterwards you have to download the Rufus which is used to make bootable Kali Linux pen drive. So download this Rufus, it is about 1.1 MB size. Yeah, now go to the download location. Here you can see I have already downloaded the Kali Linux image. It will take a while. It is size is big. Now open the Rufus and select the image, Kali Linux image. Yeah. And just start the flashing. Just it will take the about 5 to 10 minutes to complete this process. I am skipping it. So it is completed ok. Now open the disk management. Here we have to shrink the volume. Shrink the volume about 30 GB. So after shrinking the volume you will see the unallocated space of 30 GB. Then we can go for the installation. Just restart the system and select the bootable pen drive here it is my pen drive just enter it now select the graphical installation select the languages location keyboard ok next next First name is Kali as it is I am keeping it you can change if you want and afterwards click continue domain name I give in the blank and full name for new user you can give anything I am giving my name and afterwards give the password just remember this password what are you giving here you will need for the login ok just continue select the clock time now it is now select the manual configuration here for partitioning here you can see the 32 GB our space is here logical space yeah just enter it and create a new partition 3 GB space we are giving for this swap partition here you have to change the swap okay and then done the setting for the partition and for the remaining space you have to click select the automatic partition for free space and afterwards select this all file options it will automatically configure the remaining partition now just click yes and continue so it will start writing to these directories so it is the started to installation of system it is the default a configuration I have selected here so guys this complete process will take around 15 to 30 minutes so I am just keeping the installation parts ok guys so it is now asking the permission for the grub bootloader ok now it is completed the installation and restarting the system there you can see 
dual boot okay just first open the Kali Linux give the username and password hit login button so it is working so now we have to restart the system and check whether our windows is working or not so restart and select the windows 10 option here from boot loader so guys you can see it is working fine guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and watch my other video also